good morning guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for tuning in today so today is uh, one of the weekdays and we're just running some errands um, I'm actually going to drive have a pretty long drive about 45 minutes and I'm going to take my mom and Aurora with me because we need to go to Kaiser which is our um, hospital right now so we're gonna go uh, to the hospital pick up some documents because we're gonna do the genetic testing for her uh, we got a referral um, for that testing so um, to basically to determine if she's a little person or not we did not do invasive testing during the pregnancy um, they always offer it if you have some kind of genetic mutation like I do which is uh, dwarfism the dwarfism that I have is called pseudo achondroplasia uh, and since I'm married to um, average size person um, I had about 50 50 chances to pass this gene to my kids this, this is pretty much what happened with uh, my twins Cairo and Xavier one of them has this gene Cairo is a little person like me and Xavier is going to be average size like his dad Preston so since I have this 50 50 percent chance we going to do this testing to find out if Aurora is little person or not along with the height difference that wouldn't be that bad there are some complications that come with this type of dwarfism um, for example the legs starting to bow like Caro has bowed legs right now they're not as bad as some other kids but he's still been suggested to have a surgery but a little bit later and for Caro for example when he goes to school some of the days he has the leg pain like me so I tell the teacher that he is not able to participate in some activities or if he doesn't want to go outside if he wants to stay inside if he cannot walk uh, somewhere he's not making it up because I had the same issues when I was a kid and sometimes my legs are you know hurt and then the next minute they will be fine so I told the teachers that he's not like making it all up that it's really how it works you know with my joints and his joints as well because when I was a kid and my mom didn't know that I had dwarfism at that time she thought I'm just making it up and you know crying to go to school because my legs were hurting and it was too far for me to walk I didn't she she didn't know that so yeah today we're gonna go do the testing kids are in school I'm gonna have breakfast I already got Aurora up um, an hour ago or so I already fed her and now she's sleeping again I made breakfast for kids now I'm making breakfast for me and Preston so this is my breakfast today I have this cottage cheese with the it's like a Russian jam that my, my my mom made with grapes and almonds and walnuts and then there's avocado toast and some water my mom is right here <laughs> and I'm making some bacon for Preston so when he comes back from school it will be nice and ready for him so this is what Preston is going to eat. I made him some bacon, French toast, and the eggs. Did the kids uh, go to school okay? Oh yeah. Did not want to go back home? Like yeah. No. <laughs> Alright, sounds good. Very fine. Thanks for breakfast. You're welcome, baby. Okay, so now it's 9.27, um, I already took a shower, had breakfast, all that stuff, so I'm ready to go. The baby's still sleeping, this is her, um, I already fed her in the morning, so now it's time to feed her again, so we can start heading to the hospital. But she's sleeping and I already opened the window, I turned off sound machine and already kind of fixed up the bed a little bit, but she's still sleeping, I'm trying to catch her smiling, because I saw her smiling a couple of times but yeah she's been sleeping with us because I think she's going through like a she's going through a growth spur so the past few days it was just really hard to put her to sleep she only sleeps on our chest and then we can like kind of roll her and put her on the bed but every time I'm trying to carry her or place her somewhere she wakes up like a few minutes later so that's been an adventure. All right, I think we're gonna wake you up, my love. Good morning.
Wiki Wiki. Okay, so we did the test uh, probably three or four weeks ago already for Aurora and today the doctor is supposed to call me from genetics uh, to discuss the results. So she's going to call me in about 10 minutes or so. So we're going to find out. Hello? Okay. Okay, sorry. Alright, so I do have her test results and it mm -hmm. turns out that she also has the okay. variation in the cough gene that you have um so as and the the lab is still calling it a variant of uncertain significance but um you know dr tiller feels that it's you know it makes sense that it's running with the pseudo achondroplasia in the family since you have it and then your other son who has the, the clinical features as well has it um so at this point um you know i don't so Dr. Tiller is still following um, Cairo, right? Is he? Yes, uh-huh. Okay. So so there's a couple options. Um, Dr. Ahmed, you know, said he's happy to see Aurora um, in the office, but we probably don't need to see her until she's older. Um, maybe like, you know, once she starts walking, then it would be good for us to see her because usually, you know, we don't see any issues in, as newborns or until really walking. Um, so either, you know, we're happy to see her in the clinic or if you want to follow up with Dr. Tiller. Um, I know he's retired, but he's still seen some patients. So, um, and since, you know, you, you've been following with him, that's to it's totally up to you. Got it. Um. Okay. Now it's fine. I think we're gonna see the orthopedic um, when she's a little bit older, like yeah. with Carol. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. I mean, because really, there's nothing we do. Um, you know, we don't expect her to have any symptoms right now or show any features of it. Um, and really, yeah. it's more so like when she starts walking, if there's any, you know, unusual gait or anything that we need to worry about. Okay. Thank you. Sounds okay. Good. Sure. Do you have any questions? Uh, no, thank you. Okay, and I will send you a copy of her report just so you have it for your record. Okay, thank you so much. Sounds good. All right, you're welcome. You guys have a good weekend. You too. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. All right, so... Look back the results. So, turns out Aurora also a little person and... The reason I'm crying is because, um, you know, like Cairo's legs are really bowed now, and he's just five years old, and uh, he has to have surgery. Um, eventually, hopefully not too soon. They kind of uh, check his X-rays once a year, um, just to make sure that the the bowing is not um progressing too fast but eventually he will have to have um, a surgery to put like a little plates in um it's called guided growth surgery so hopefully you know after that surgery his legs will slowly have improvement uh, but just like the fact that you know i have to put my child under anesthesia and have a surgery and I know uh, my friend Tara, her son had that surgery and her son didn't walk for like a month and a half or so. I'm, I'm not sure exactly, but the doctors say that it's supposed to be like, they're supposed to start walk, walking next day and encourage them, but he didn't walk for quite a while after this before everything got back to normal. And just like, it's already, um, I really feel like I'm I don't treat him any differently but uh 
and I've already woke up. So yeah, I don't treat Karo any differently because he's a little person. I don't think he really knows that yet. Uh, but like, even in school, like one of the girls were saying that he's not tall enough for something and... I don't know, it's difficult to be different, I guess, because... I don't know, I don't know what I'm trying to say about all this. My main concerns are really like the health wise, just having to go through surgery, hoping that uh, this will improve the bowing of the legs, and just the fact that in school, like kids might be teasing. I, I know I eventually will have to talk to Cairo and Aurora about all this and Xavier. I was just really hoping that Aurora doesn't have it because uh, with Cairo, I kind of saw the signs. Maybe I jinxed it, I don't know. With Cairo, I saw the signs early on. Just having him uh, side by side with Xavier. I saw certain features. Um, with Aurora, maybe because she was full term, so the, the twins were born 34 weeks and they were very tiny, uh, like like you can see like little bones in them but um with aurora she was at 38 weeks so she was full term and she was a little bit more fluffy and more healthy and like heavier so maybe i didn't see the signs but i was just really sure and kind of hoping that she wouldn't have it so at least she wouldn't have to have all this you know I don't know. I don't know if you guys can understand me. It's not that I don't want to have a little person. It's just that I am the little person. So I know what this package comes with, you know. Luckily, they are in America now. So people are a little bit more accepting here of the difference. So hopefully for them, it will be easier. Plus, it's a little bit of a different time now. Uh, yeah, so... People a little bit more educated and I see things on TV and YouTube. So yeah, but my main concern is the health. But that's okay. We'll figure it out. Sure, yeah. My only hope is that her dwarfism is going to be as mild as mine at least. Because uh, every dwarfism sometimes has more like severe versions than others so for pseudochondroplasia i'm pretty tall um and my legs were not as bowed as some other uh, people with the same condition so i just hope a lot of times that um kids have the same form of dwarfism like so if parents don't have a severe one so they wouldn't as well but sometimes it's different like tara she has achondroplasia but her daughter um, also has achondroplasia but Tara never had a surgery and her daughter already had quite a few surgeries so it's like you never know but I'm just you know hoping that Cairo and Aurora are going to have a milder form at least like mine so yeah and um, when Preston comes back home from work I will talk to him about all this so hopefully he will make me feel better. He always make me feel better.